Dames en heren, jongens en meisjes, we zijn hier voor een nieuwe Let's Play van The Outer Worlds. En uh, zoals je misschien wel weet, ik ben best wel een fan van de Outer Worlds series. Uh, het team van Obsidian is iets gelukt wat bij Bethesda maar niet lijkt te lukken. Gewoon een nieuwe Fallout bouwen, maar een goede Fallout ook. Een Fallout in Space, altijd een goed idee. En er is nu een nieuwe DLC, zoals je wel weet. Ik heb ook Peron Gorgon gespeeld. Ik heb natuurlijk de main game ook gewoon uitgespeeld. En nu is er een nieuwe, Murder on Eridanus. En um, als dit een beetje lijkt op de eerste DLC, dan gaat dit een soort van detective worden. Heel interessant. Ik vond de vorige keer vond ik dat steltje van die detective heel erg tof. Dus laten we kijken of ze dat uh, vol kunnen houden. We klikken hier verder continue. We spelen de Steam PC versie. En um, ja, het was heel even gedoe, want ik ben begonnen op uh, Xbox Game Pass. Uh, daarna heb ik mijn save game moeten verplaatsen naar uh, de Epic Game Store, omdat ik daar de, DLC, de eerste DLC kreeg. En ik kreeg nu de Steam versie, dus uh, ik heb inmiddels uh, vijf of zes keer die game. Het is, uh, het is echt uh, gestoord, maar uh, het is wat het is. Ik heb het even over. No Night Without Stars. Volgens mij moesten we... Laten we heel even kijken. Journal. Dit is No Night Without Stars. Dat is uh, Murder on Eridanos. Kijk, die gaan we dan active maken. Waar moeten we dan heen? Volgens mij moesten we naar Stellar Bay. Zoiets heb ik gelezen. Maar dat kan hier nog niet. Moeten we dan met de computer gaan praten? Ja. Welkom terug, Captain. Hoe kan ik of assistance? Dan is de computer. Het schip. You mentioned an etherwave drama. I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Halcyon Helen versus the Brain Eaters. It was the law for sick in Paris. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. Brain eaters. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? That's where we come in. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Mm, okay. Let me guess. This is about Halsey and Helen's murder. How about I call you just Lou? How about not? Okay, Lou. Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. 
As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. And your first thought was to come to me? All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, Sublight's favorite freelancer. I'm such an admirer of your work. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Mm. I've never heard of Sublight on the ground. Don't worry. You and I are going to become very close acquaintances. I run the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Spaceport. Ludovico and I are business partners, in a manner of speaking. Eridanos is our shared responsibility. Eridanos is not our shared responsibility. Eridanos is my responsibility, to which you and your organization have latched on like a parasite. Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Gentlemen, as far as I'm concerned, you're both idiots. First sensible thing I've heard all day. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, my apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was unprofessional of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You're a talented diplomat. You know I? how to ask questions, and you have a gift for getting answers without resorting to violence. Really? As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Inspector Sarcastic Bandit. I like the sound of that. Uh, shouldn't this be the constable's job, constable? I hate to admit it, but I'm a little out of my depth here. I'm used to dealing with rowdy VIPs from Byzantium, not murder. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. All right. You can count on me. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. All right. Got everything I need. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Um, I don't know why they're trusting me to catch Halcy on Helen's killer. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, inebriation, and genuine faith in your abilities. Hmm. <laughs> Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos Atmospheric Complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Thanks, Ada. Nou, dan gaan we erheen. We zijn nog niet op uh, Eridanos geweest, dus ik ben benieuwd of het er mooi uitziet. Gorgon het zag er prachtig uit, namelijk. Down on the atmospheric complex. 
Kijk, hier we are. Ik ben benieuwd. Nogmaals, we spelen op PC dus. Uh, graphics zien er echt uh, ja, ongelooflijk mooi uit, vind ik persoonlijk. Uh, dat komt vooral door het stijltje. Niet zozeer uh, ja, de grafische trucjes hier en daar in de engine die ze gebruiken. Um, er gaat gewoon heel veel liefde in deze game, dat zie je gewoon. En dat doet me goed. Je ziet ook gelijk een groot verschil. Ik weet niet of je dat ook op YouTube kan zien, maar tussen de pre-rendered pre filmpjes, zoals dit, en de daadwerkelijke gameplay. Dit ziet er namelijk veel minder uit. Hier zijn we. Het is wel een uh, bruine bedoeling. Uh, een ander ding. De Xbox uh, Series X versie. Die heeft een next gen update uh, gekregen. En die draait nu in 4K 60 fps. Dus ook op Xbox ziet het er nu prachtig uit. Ik hoop dat je atmosfeer entry was niet te troublesome. Als een guest of honor, je deserve het beste in comfort. Sublight salvage and shipping underground, or slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Can you fill me in on the try. details? I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling's been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. He did it. It's always the boyfriend. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Mm, typical show business. Was she a divisive figure? Mm, not particularly. But I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. How did she get so famous? She was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the Spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Was the product release a you big bet deal? It was. Rizzo's rented out the ballroom in the hotel just for the launch event. Reckoned it was going to be a real swell affair. Rizzo's ain't unveiled the product since the debut of Spectrum Ultraviolet. Invisible to the naked eye and, as it happened, prone to causing massive internal bleeding. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. All right, great, thanks. See you later. Hier is de unreliable. Achter de, achter de lift uh, is de ballroom dus. Greetings, inspector. Yep. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. You should be able to find the colonial right ahead. I've been starting to play a little game with travel. Ik ben geen fan van het kleurenpalet. Maar qua stijl is dit toch wel weer heel erg tof. Doet me ook een beetje denken aan uh, die Bioshock game. Bio Bioshock Infinite. Qua, qua stijltje waarvoor ze hebben gekozen. Ik bet you 10 bits. This is all just some sort of publicity stunt. It's not a publicity stunt. Or is it? Volgens mij mag ik hierin toch? Ja. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. Let's skip the pleasantries. I'm ready to begin my investigation. I'm pleased to hear that. 
Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. What does this thing do? I'm so glad you asked. Allow me to explain. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Mm, so it's a magnifying glass? Yes. It's a magnifying glass, but an extraordinarily powerful one. It looks through the glass of reality itself. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. The discrepancy amplifier. Greetings, Inspector. Thanks to the half-genius, half-mad scientific mind of Dr. Goodnight, you've been granted the discrepancy amplifier, a handy investigation device for uncovering clues throughout Herodanos. Be sure to to equip the discrepancy amplifier in a weapon slot before you continue your hunt for Helen's killer. Okay. Even kijken wat ik ga gebruiken met deze. Ze zijn wel allemaal heel erg goed namelijk. Maar oké. Laten we wisselen voor die. Dit is hem. Scanning Aerodynamics for Evidence. To catch Helen's killer, you'll need to use the discrepancy amplifier scope to reveal clues not visible to the naked eye. Once you've located some evidence, aim directly at it while zooming in with the scope and press the interact button to analyze it. Okay, who worked it? Analyze. The discrepancy amplifier is now operational. Greetings, designated inspector and or unauthorized larcenist. This unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Unscheduled expiration of. Begin amplification. Sure, let's get started. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Discrepancy amplifier. Do the size of these footprints match anything you have on record? Footprint is a tailor made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Mmm. Taste the dirt. Oh no, Captain, please don't taste the dirt, and I'm too late. <laughs> The dirt carries traces of fertilizer, oh my God. as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards, located not far from the Grand Colonial. That's what I had on. So Helen must have been at the orchards before she died. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's go. I knew I should have gotten See, I said, oh, it is echt a detective, and it is no more detective than Peril and Gorgon. We gaan nu ook letterlijk clues onderzoeken met dit apparaatje. Oh. Zullen we gewoon uh, aan de juiste kant gaan staan? I'm sorry, sir, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspect. Oh, you're the special inspector. Yes, ma'am. Cannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Right. You happen to have my room key? Ah, uh, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. Kijk, je wordt wel in de watten gelegd, hoor. Last left her belongings behind I don't trust when it. she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. 
Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. All right. We've got some high profile guests here. What can you tell me about them? My apologies, Inspector, but that would be a severe violation of guest privacy. We here at the Grand Colonial firmly believe that... All right, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't understand the importance of gossip. About whom? And what would you wish to know? Um, Helen's co-star, Woolrich. You have any reason to want her dead? If looks could kill, he'd have put her in the ground ten times over. Man's clearly jealous of her success Dang. compared to his. See, I'd bet we're the only two people thinking about him in all of Eridanos. And I only am because you mentioned his name. If you leave woolly cow milk out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out, they begin to get stale, then rot. Woolridge is on his way to the trash bin, and everyone knows it. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would be checking out soon. Judging by his increasing demands for a room upgrade. Hmm. Her black hole birdie? Ah, uh, birdie. Is he bigger than he is dumb, or dumber than he is big? I have a bet with a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. Birdie used to be Helen's beau. Though he isn't anymore, and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I'd spend every one just to learn what caused their split. Hmm. Did you notice anything about Helsey and Helen before she died? You know, out of everyone here, I probably knew the least about Helen. I'm not much of an Aether Wave watcher myself. And Helen always had a crowd of admirers chasing her, you see. So she rarely stopped to chat. Friendly enough, surely, but always seemed untouchable. Emphasis on seemed. Hmm. Did you ever see Helen acting strangely? Hmm. Now that you mention it, she was usually calm and collected, but every so often I'd see her looking all wild-eyed and intense. It seemed as if she was determined about something. Or maybe she was just hungry? That woman ordered a lot of food. Maybe show business gives you a faster metabolism. Ha 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 ha. That's enough gossip for That's now. That's a shame, Inspector. What if I wanted to know a little about you? Too bad. See, I'd say too bad. A man of mystery, are you? Consider me intrigued. Goodbye. Laten we naar Liv gaan. Bellhop Norville, highly skilled bellhop. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. Whose authorized floor can I bring you to? Penthouse. Ik zie dat vertrouwen niet. Waarom uh, word ik omgeven door luxe? Pas niet bij, uh, bij mijn status. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. Let's skip the small talk. Ah, agreed. Tell me about your investigation. Helen was at the Purpleberry Orchards before her death. Mm, nou, we gaan hem persuaden. Ik had volgens mij best wel veel ge in, uh, geïnvesteerd in uh, persuasion. Your discretion is appreciated. Kijk, dat ik. I admit, I'm beginning to feel more confident in this arrangement. Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. Thank you, There is one go. caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. Mm, 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 mm. So he locks his doors the moment an investigator arrives? That's not suspicious at all. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport is Cedric's purview, not mine. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. Yes. I'll be back. Uh, where are we going? Purpleberry Orchard. Hi there, Inspector. It might be a little beyond my job description to ask, but at my heart, I'm still a bellhop. Was the sweet to your liking? I haven't checked it out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I'm just here to investigate, ma'am. I don't really care about the hotel room. Ah, someone's focused on their work. I can absolutely respect that. We're terror rays of a fin, Inspector. Now, I'd love to bring you to a floor of your choosing. Mmm, exit the Grand Colonial. Yes. Brain Eaters. Okay, he's out. Where? Where's the game? That's a behoorlijk fair. Kunnen we een beetje deze planeet gaan, uh, gaan verkennen? Ik ben benieuwd of de performance wat beter is. Ik zie toch uh, een paar hiccups. Ondanks uh, dat hij slechts op uh, 1440p staat. Wel uh, de hoogste settings. Het zou met een RTX 3080 geen probleem moeten zijn. Nu is het natuurlijk ook zo dat ik tegelijkertijd uh, dit aan het capturen ben. Dus dat zal ongetwijfeld meespelen. Misschien is het omdat hij niet full screen staat, maar dat maakt ook even verder niet zoveel uit. Kijk, wat ik zei, veel geïnvesteerd in Persuasion. Uh, wat gaan we nog meer doen? Ik denk uh, een beetje een leadership hier. Boom. 100 punten in leadership. Houden we die daarop. En dan hebben we nog perks. Welke perk, 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 perk. Fast travel when encumbered. Nee, dat maakt me niet zoveel uit. Sprint speed omhoog. Dat kan. Quiet weapon damage. Dialogue skills. Spend the buying price. Nee. Wat is de extra headshot? Ja, laten we deze nemen. Dan hebben we dat ook weer gedaan. Zie, het doet wel iets uh, van Bioshock Infinite achter gaan, toch? Dan ga je deze kant op. Ja. Oh. Het is een beest. Wat gebeurt er nou? Die guns in deze game zijn wel echt heel vet gedaan trouwens. Deze action moves ook. Je kan namelijk je side characters kan je opdrachten geven. En die kunnen dan dit soort uh, finishing moves doen. Er zit een cooldown op, uiteraard. Maar die gaat redelijk, uh, redelijk snel over. Zoveel mogelijk ammo pakken. Dat is altijd een goed idee. Volgens mij, en ik weet niet zeker of dat nog steeds zo is. Maar we waren in de, in, de, in de main game toch best wel gierig. Wat betreft uh, bullets. Ik zat vaak zonder, laat ik het zo zeggen. Dus looten, erg belangrijk. Oké, okay. clues nearby. Waar zijn we clues dan? Ik denk dat clues niet bij. Is dat hier? Oh. 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 Find three bits and a half eaten Rizzo's. <laughs> hey, pay your respects. Rest in peace, buddy. Maar verder geen uh, clues. Oké, okay, dan gaan we verder. Oh, wat is dit, joh? Wordt die planeet voorgetrokken door, uh, door engines? Kijk, hier beneden ook al. Purple Berry Orchard. Nou, we hebben toegang in, uh, in ieder geval. Door de power of persuasion. Persuasion heeft me echt vaak al geholpen in deze game hoor. Dus uh, mocht je er nog aan gaan beginnen. Staat op Xbox Game Pass dus. Is inmiddels 60 fps ook op console. Ga het spelen. En investeer. 
These in persuasion. The shoes previously analyzed in the grand ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay, examine the footprint depth and spacing. Short and the imprint in dirt is deep, as if determined it would appear that Helen was in a hurry. Okay. You can tell a lot about an animal by its tracks. Helen came through here in a hurry. I wonder where she was going. You think someone was giving her chase? I don't know yet. We'll find out. Hmm. Why must we be helped? Hey, no. Nou, oh, daar ligt nog meer. Zo, deze cowboy wordt gezien. Ze gaat hier van, uh, van de weg af. Andere footsteps. Congratulations, inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Dat zijn toch andere voetsporen? Kan naar mij liggen hoor, maar. Timeline discrepancy detected. Congratulations, inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress. Wat is hier gaan hier? Huh, that's weird. He was a down, he was a down. He must be on the fuck. Okay, whatever. Oh shit. Over encumbered. Inventory. I have also veel te veel stuff, man. Nou, laten we dit weggooien als we het niet nodig hebben. Nee, die hebben we niet nodig. Het de junk. Breakdown. Dit hebben we ook niet nodig. Deze moeten we eigenlijk wel gaan repairen. Maar dat komt, uh, dat komt wel. Uh, deze kan ook breakdown. Yes. Yes. Mijn helm is 67. Dit heb ik allemaal niet nodig. Hè. Maar we kunnen in ieder geval weer door. Ik vind het weird man, dit zijn toch hele verschillende voetstappen. Het zijn niet dezelfde. En nog meer lijken. Deze is nodig nee. Als ik dat naar de hele tijd scannen? Dat is een beetje overdreven. Er ligt hier wel veel hoor. En hier nog meer. Overal waar ze is geweest, liggen er allemaal lijken. Halcyon Helen. Don't mess with me. Gunplay kan beter in de game. Gelukkig maken de wapens zelf een, uh, een hoop goed. Ze zijn creatief. Heb soms vette bijwerkingen. En zeker wanneer je in uh, bullet time modus uh, dingen doet. Daarom nog eentje te gaan. Ik ben... Reject! Congratulations, inspector. You've discovered. Congratulations, inspector. You've discovered more 
I'm just following the footsteps. Stay down, boy. Nah, I've been overpowered for this. Ze is een radio aan, namelijk om uh, level 30 uh, minimaal te zijn. En ik ben, uh, ik ben 34. Kijk hier. Analyze. The shaft of the tossball stick is bent and cracked. Exceeding tossball regulation requirements. The end of the tossball stick is matted with Rizzo's dark metal, ch ma it's metal it's chocolate. Detected. Embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. Examine the end of the stick. It looks as if someone uses this tossball to completely obliterate the picnic basket. Maybe it's some kind of upper class mating ritual. Doubt. Doubt. The only members of a tossball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Michael Bertie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the tossball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. Something went wrong here. I really hope it wasn't the food. Okay, black hole birdie. This is a key card for the Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs. If you are reading this warning anywhere other than the Research Labs, please return to uh, RDDD Labs for an uh, for an only moderate extreme pay deduction and a mild de reduction of working fingers. Hmm. Try me, man. Try me. Yeah. See you, Rizzo's. Yeah, that can mean a minute. Veel roze hier. Echt een hoop uh, roze. Gek van plek die de Purple Orchards heet. Huh? Het zijn allemaal gehersenspoeld, zie je dat? Ze doen echt super weird namelijk. Hello. I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. Hey, 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 rustig aan, man. I'm investigating Halcyon Helen's murder. Was she here recently? You do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress, Ruth Bellamy, yes? One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. -day. Okay, go Regardless, on. I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Oryx. Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant you clearance enough to answer your murder-related questions, Mr. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Okay. There isn't anything... You can do to help? Persuade. Hmm. Yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Huh. I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them? Mm, I can take care of your problem, but I need you to answer some questions afterward. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. These people don't deserve to die, Captain. Let's try using the sedative. 
The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. I'll try. Zijn we concerned om een levens? Zijn, toch? Hier nog belangrijke spullen. Personeel is in ieder geval gek geworden dus. Daar lijkt het op Bart. Hmm. Wat is dit joh? Oh, wauw! Wat gebeurde hier, joh? Ik schrik me dood. Few lab notes. Our discovery. Finally finished our first set of experiments on those parasites we harvested from the infected would-be attraction animals. And the results have been, what the hell am I doing? Why am I taking this tone? Who's going to see this aside from the members of the research team? I barely need mention how beyond completely phenomenal today's find has been. Not only have we discovered why Harold, the system saddest teacup canid, had his remarkable turnaround, frankly, I'm amazed no one realized something was Ari earlier. His cage was only about as large as he was. By the way, Myers, there goes our daily adreno injections theory, you buffoon. But we've also found something that will be. Uh, that will find me to a vice presidential position in no time. Remind me to, to devote a bench commemorating the Rizzo's semi-industrial exploration team for giving their lives to bring back the Iridanium Ir Gigasius from the Holy Caves. I also be certain to devote an even larger bench to myself for finding the birth site of the parasites, ordering experiments to start. I've already been in talks with management about ideas for products that could utilize the parasites' joy intensifying hormones. Oké, okay, dat, dat is dus overduidelijk wat er met, uh, wat er met, de, wat er met de mensen buiten aan de, hang, uh, aan de gang is. It's amazing that Slug has it looked deep, deeper into this. We may have had to see them from land, but seemingly they haven't disturbed our research site. Well, their oversight is Rizzo's immense benefit. Great job to me. Today's incident, I'm sure some of you are still shaken by the events earlier today, but the course of science never did run smooth. The benefits of our research are easily worth the potential risk associated. Garcia would mostly certain would most certainly agree if she were still alive. I've talked to the administrator Ludovico about setting up some additional security measures in case of another test subject breach. In the meantime, for the love of the architect, do not infect an individual test subject with more than one parasite. The frenetic joy will have to be enough, at least for now. I'm still looking into the promotional means, but I think we'll find something soon. Something Rizzo's product engineers have discussed mass producing the parasites and placing them in some kind of beverage to evenly distribute the joy inducing hormones. Things to still seem very promising. I look forward to the day when I can leave this backwater facility behind. Dr. Blossom. Gas and test, test subject. Blossom requested demanded. We helped the engineering team produce a gas that would target the neural links of individuals infected by the iridanium gigaseous. Well, we did, and it was simple enough. Just isolated a particular cell type only found in the parasites and produced an enzyme that, would sh uh, that should shock them temporarily into stasis. But you better believe the second it came time... Uh, but better believe the second it came time to tell the administrator about it, she was the uh, one who had developed the gas and she was the one who had been primarily working with engineering to get everything together. She takes the credit for the initial finding and even after Dr. Garcia's death, which was basically all Dr. Blossom's fault, she still somehow manages to find a way to spin things in her favor. Some of the other researchers were talking about altering the gas not to target test subjects, but to target her and for it not to render its target unconscious but dead. I, would, I wouldn't write this down, but I know Dr. Blossom doesn't read log entries that she didn't write. Tell you, the ideas are beginning to seem more and more appealing. Messages. At your earliest convenience, the slug lab requires your sanitation services for cadaver removal. There are two bodies present at the RRNDD. 
Scientist left. <laughs> one scientist and one test subject. Send a team to move the personal corpse to the incinerator. After this, please send a hazard team to dispose the test subject. For highly classified reasons, the corpse can emit certain chemical compounds that are extremely dangerous if mishandled. Please don't skimp on the protective gear. We'd hate to have to hire a separate utility team to pick up the bodies of yours. What in the blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. You better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology within the next 15 minutes or people are going to start losing jobs. Okay. Snap nu al waarom mensen langzaam insane aan het worden zijn. Dan ga ik ook mijn spullen gewoon pakken. Ja. Waarom niet? Zij hebben er toch niks meer aan. Oh, dit was gewoon dezelfde deur. Mhm. Oké, okay, hier kunnen we ook niks. Je zou zeggen dat je iets op die computer kan doen, maar. Apparently not. Nee, dat is voor mijn eigen bescherming. Hè? Moet gewoon de hele toko hier opblazen anders. Wat is er naar boven? Use terminal, few lab notes, Pro product innovation lab. The trio K08 okay, uh, has produced moderate result. The zero calorie sweetener produces 36% of the amount of dopamine compared to the popular cigarette brands. It is possible that this is as far as we can go without introducing substance uh, substances that would categorize this as tobacco product. And we're already towing the line as is. I'm interested in a trial with the largest set of subjects. However, our lab's resources are getting cut thanks to the new labs that's begun across the hall. Maybe we can offer it to our colleagues in the marketing lab. Show them a thing or two regarding the proper science. Oh, here's Deza. I apologize, but I wouldn't be doing uh, the team justice if I didn't question the budget cuts in this, this lab I've seen. We've had to shelf three products and we're losing two or more researchers. Honestly, whatever's been whatever's being developed in the lab across the hall better be more addictive than the Adreno time. It was. I apologize for the team's outburst at the product presentation. I assure you we didn't intentionally mean to scream in terror and assume the fetal position when Spectrum Brown and its slogan were revealed. It has to be something the marketing lab did. For law's sake, they aren't even real scientists. I am sending this message to both teams in the marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of these squabbles, but they end here. If it weren't for the incredible projection Spectrum Brown shows, we'd all be out of work. And after that embarrassment at the presentation, I expect more of both departments. What in the blessed corporate law is all the commotion down here? I don't believe the rock. Okay, that have we already read. Yeah, that have we already read. That's a lot more rizzos than I ever wanted. <laughs> Take him down. Have we done No, no, I ain't sure. Okay. And we can um, unbar this door. Dispense sedative gas. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. Welcome! We're happy to... Uh, okay, this needs to be interesting. Okay, cool. These are open. Yeah. Have we here nog iets? Armor parts, armor parts, weapon parts, weapon parts. That can you use to uh, your armor upgrade or what the hell. What do we do now in the bottom? Niet hier in ieder geval. Not hier. Oké. Okay. Ik ben de weg kwijt. That's no good. Het lijkt me een beetje vroeg om alweer naar boven te moeten, maar... Ik weet het zo. Eh... 
Uh, memo, mind the gas canisters. Oké, okay, die hebben we natuurlijk al gezien. After work bar meetup. This lighting on, uh, maakt ook niet uit. Kijk, dat maakt verder ook niet uit. Ja, we hebben wel aardig wat de employees. Oh, wow. We hebben een keycard in ieder geval. Wat zien we? Wat zien we hier? Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. Really? But recently, they were still alive. Examine the body. Search the immediate area. Anyone else think there should be more bullet holes here? What an awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? Mmm, five kills in and out before we could catch a glimpse of the culprit. I'd expect more blood. Stranger, heard gunshots over the intercom, but I don't see any casings. Pretty sure the dead and whoever did this was evil. I don't remember those gunshots. Energy weapons don't sound that way. Killer must have been using something exotic. Hmm. What can we hear, Finley? Hardline discrepancy detected nearby. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. Sam and Looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. See, big birdie. Or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into spikes. Deals, Hildick. See that red wire? Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily, at least until the fail safes kicked in. Okay, what is he here now? The computer. View download confirmation. Yeah, well, was successfully downloaded. Messages. Apologies for the late notice, but Miss Bellamy has requested a tour of the facilities while she is visiting Eridanus as Halcyon Helen. Please prepare for her arrival in the morning. Okay, that's dialogue. Well, Leora, you did it again. At long last, you located a bottle of Spectrum Black hidden in a crevice of musty shelf space in the storage warehouse last night. That much closer to the finally getting the Spectrum Gatling to work. And what happened? You got all the way back to the water tower before running into a group of primals already diverting themselves with fruits of the fermented ver variety. One bad blackout later and here you are, covered in primal vomit without the spectrum black. Get it together. What in the blesser? Okay, that have all five gear seen. Error file deleted. Whatever's on that file was worth murdering these people. Now, I'm doubly intrigued. Hmm. Guess our job here is done. Attention all personnel. Unscheduled pollinization cycle. Pollinization control command. terminal. Please evacuate the What does new uh momentary taste of raspberry? Mmm, that was optional. Du -du -du. Murder on Aerodanus. Completed to the to need to see. Optional. Deal with the Waskido swarms. Someone has unleashed was Waskidos. Alter the orchard orchards. Find a way to stop the pollinization cycle before you're stung to death. Report to Administrator Ludovico. We found ev evidence that a certain research file was downloaded onto a data cartridge, then deleted from the terminal. Administrator Ludovico still want to will want to hear the results of your We're investigation. Laten we naar hem toe gaan. The waskidos. Maakt mij niet zo heel veel uit. Om heel eerlijk te zijn. Vergeet ze. Gewoon doorrennen. Oh, het zijn er wel veel. Mijn teammates gaan eraan. Luister ze nog achter mij? Ja, ze rennen nog wel achter me aan. Dat is het belangrijkste. Even kijken, hoe komen we daar het makkelijkst 
via die brug. Been gebroken. Ze hebben het zwaarder dan ik. Dat is één ding wat duidelijk is. Purpleberry Nut Hut. Hmm. We gaan nu naar administrator Ludovico. Ik ben benieuwd wat hij te zeggen heeft. Maar hij is in ieder geval nog degene die wilde meewerken. Echt, deze wereld van corporatisme is zo verrot. Echt niet normaal. Klein stukje lopen. Misschien hadden we ook gewoon kunnen fast travelen hoor. Ik vind het altijd leuk om in de wereld zelf rond te lopen. Zeker in de wereld van de oude wereld. Rizzo Security, Lily Vargas. Daar hebben we niks mee te maken. Op zouten. Ik ben benieuwd waar uh, de, uh, de volgende clue ons uh, naartoe brengt. If it's brown, drink it down. Rizzle Spectrum Brown. Ah, yes. What floor would you like to visit? Bring me to the penthouse suite. Ik denk dat ik gewoon weer moet bellen via je computer namelijk. Ja, kijk. I understand that there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Mm -hmm. The loss of so many wasquitos will set back production at the orchards for weeks if not months. I'm disappointed in you. That's fine. Boo hoo. It was me or them. Of course you're right. I'll set aside my disappointment for later consideration. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? Yes. The plot thickens, Administrator. You have my attention. Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. Someone stole the data from one of your terminals in research and development. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. Misschien had ik eerst uh, nieuws over Dr. Blossom moeten zeggen. This happened just before the mosquito attack. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? Yes, Dr. Blossom was dead. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. She was in trouble when I found her. The other workers had turned violent. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All I know is she recognized the killer. Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. I'll let you know if I learn anything else. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Alright. We'll vooral dat gaan doen. Uh, Rizzo's Ranger's mascot. Oh, sweet shivering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. 
Mm, pretty sure it looks like Rizzo's mascot's in my room going through my things. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. Easy, friend. No need to get violent. There are as many reasons to spare my life as there are flavors in Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. I'll give you two reasons. First, I am a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Enterprise. And don't really care, man. And secondly, I'm just here doing a job for a VIP. Mascot's honor. What kind of job? I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie. The Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. You're out of luck. I found it already. It's pretty incriminating. Hmm. Zullen we gaan liegen? Ja, laten we dat, uh, laten we dat doen. You found the recording? Oh, well, that's just... That's just... Sweeter than a fistful of purple berry punch. <laughs> oh la, Birdie's gonna slaughter me mm, like a... Birdie heeft iets op de kerfstok in ieder geval. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Tell me what you know, or they'll have to rinse your remains out of their mascot's outfit. I... what? But I don't... I can't. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there and I'll tell you everything. I swear. Het kon dus niet Black Hole Birdie zijn. Die uh, net Dr. Blossom heeft vermoord. Want die was te dik om überhaupt door de ventilatieschaf te passen. De plot thickens. We gaan uh, naar de pilot uh, complex. Om te kijken wat er aan de hand is. Maar dat doen we niet meer in deze video. Deze video zit erop. Dit is het begin van The Outer Worlds. Murder on Eridanos. En uh, het voelt goed om weer terug in de wereld van The Outer Worlds te zijn. Ik ga hier absoluut mee verder. Uh, misschien op stream. Misschien uh, gaan we gewoon verder hier uh, als, een, uh, als een let's play op YouTube. Voor nu wil ik je bedanken voor het kijken. Vond je dit nou een tof video? Vergeet dan niet dat duimpje omhoog te doen. En vergeet ook niet te abonneren. Bedankt voor het kijken jongens. En tot de volgende keer. Ciao!